Restart. Sorry, this is take two. Dogs were barking. Okay. <clears throat> um, our student is playing Kayla Nami versus Jin Zareth, and he says he wants to get better at poke. He wants to get better. He he loses into. He wants to. He always loses into. And he. He want, he always loses into poke matchups, and he would he would like to get better at killer mechanics. Okay, and then I uh, you know in the first vod, I'm just gonna fuck it, fuck it. We're just gonna go with this. Okay, in the first vod, he um sorry in the in the yeah in the first vod I recorded, I mentioned that uh in these poke lanes, pushing them in is the best usually the best idea because uh, it's really hard for them to poke you when they're under their tower, right? It's easiest for them to poke you when you're forced to farm a minion, um and then they hit you. But if you're pushing. Then uh, it's really impossible for them to uh, hit you. You can just always debate it all day. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and also, the second thing I want to say is that um, usually I personally on Kaylin take runes to, for best in lane. Okay. And uh, in this lane, Lethal Temple is not really going to do anything for us, right? Okay. You're not going to like hit them consistently unless they're running at you at a gank. And uh, I don't think that situation happens as often. Um, it's not as consistent, right? I, I think it's just a fleet forward angle. If if I were you, um, I would fleet forward fleet forward it up. Okay, and leashing is also leashing as Kaylin is also really terrible. Or in any lane where you need to push because you want to be in lane so you can push, control the wave. You can even pull the wave if you want to be a psycho, stuff like that. Um, but uh, you could always ask Shaco to not leash. <clears throat> but here we didn't leash is good. Push, push, push. Push is the name of the game. Okay, so basically, um, I don't know what rank this is. Um, is there a way to find out? We're at one fourteen. Chat, do you know what rank this is? Sure, pie. Think of the sub. Um, I don't know what rank this is, but um <laughs> Can Chad do some detective work for me? Oh. Uh you also don't want to trade into Jin for Shot, right? That's uh, usually a no-no. Oh, you got the headshot back. I can't complain. Cannot complain. That's a nice try to try to dodge that. I right, just push. Whoa, hold up. <clears throat> What's going on here? Um somehow we ate the Jin Q, huh? That's not good. Like trying to auto attack him or something? Somehow we lost a lot of health already. Also, uh, against poke lanes, uh, Doran's Blade is not optimal, okay? So let's just make a note. <clears throat> In these hard matchups, usually we want to take items and runes to help our laning phase the most. Uh, I'm all, uh, I would personally, I should say personally, personally, I would take Longsword. Three pots here, and also um, beat footwork in runes. <clears throat> this is the first first comment, you know. I mean, we we did get the push, but uh, at the cost of our only pot, so uh, not sure how this is gonna go. Out. And then definitely take net second here, this lane, right? Net trade is totally fine. Get level two here. He took trap trade. He took trap here. Um. I don't, uh, uh, just a, uh, small thing, but I think I'd prefer a net over a trap. Lane. That trade is actually. I should. Nami. Nami. You can't trap combo with Nami until level 3. Um, unless he takes bubble. Or trap is not. Not the. Trap is only going to work under their power. Whereas net solid. <clears throat> Just as a side note there, okay guys? Yeah, it's on a mega push angle. Nice dodge. Good bait it out. Good bait it out. Yeah, someone wanna do detective work for me? Joan Maurice. Someone find out what rank this is. Joan Maurice is in the game. Oh my god, nice Q. Nice Q, nice Q. Team is ganking top. Continue pushing. I don't know if I want to hit that guy, but um, whatever works. <clears throat> we want to continue pushing. We need to keep pushing. Somehow, so at this point, somehow we have not been pushing hard enough and they're going to hit three before us. Remember... In these types of lanes, we want to be perma pushing as long as we don't die to gang. So that gives them the least amount of opportunity 
hit you and you. Let's go three. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. It's Plyo. You can see a top right. You can you can see it. Oh, it says versus Platinum. So it's gold, right? <clears throat> go three. Okay. Nice dodges though. I like his dodges. And his uh, camera control is centered around his... Um, his centered. Um, he went for a nice trade. Great... Great headshot trade with Nami. Exactly what you want. That was really good. That was a really good angle. Very nice. Very nice. I don't see what the issue is. Oh. 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 Ah. This is just being a victim of them level 3 first. He has stunned and have no net. So no... The uh, net versus trap level 2 here. Yeah. Um, that blows. That's okay. Okay. You didn't waste flash. Fine. Oh no, it's gonna get worse, isn't it? She could waste time and or die. Oh no, it's too sad. Alright, this is a slow push here. And then we have to hard push every single wave after this. Really good that they kept flash because, um,. Now we can actually still lane if Diego comes. Okay, this is fine. And we, next time he does that, we just trade, right? We have flash for Diego, no problem. Diego's mid, no problem, no problem. Um, okay. I like the uh, trade attempt on Jin. He's just one auto though. Okay, five and six. This is great. Perfect. Again. Again, good trades. So far, your main mistake was just not pushing and so you lost the level 3 push remember level 3 is is you need to push the cannon wave then the melee after the first cannon wave and the two melee after yeah 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 he's got he's got he's got his matchup idea down like we only need to trade and dodge abilities i'm just proud he's great Bro, he's getting everything he wants. How could we be losing? Oh my god, he got this. He got the trap. Oh, okay. Check it out. <clears throat> Easy killing mechanics tip. Easy Kalen me mechanics tip. Every good play begin begins with trap, not auto. This is this is because trap um timing matters the most. So, if you auto attack, you will mess up your trap timing. Always trap. So, the habit to build here, mechani mechanical habit to build here, always trap first. It's almost never auto first. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's the only reason why uh, this didn't pan out as well as it could have. He actually is getting hard punished for this. Holy shit. We actually got Omega punished because we didn't trap first. Notice how he didn't get trapped. So now they're down. He goes Batman. Yeah, that sucks. I'm your favorite streamer. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Oh, oh, Q, Q, Q. Okay. Net. Okay. He survived. Out. Home. Okay. Oh, he pulled up his thing. He pulled up his thing. What does it say? Oh, everyone's gold four. Aggressive laner. Good CSer. That's what it says. <clears throat> what do you use the VOD review? I use insights. <clears throat> insights.gg. I find that it's been working best for me. Although I not... Not, um... Yeah, I think Insights is working the best for me. Very right, fast forward, when you slow pushes, very good. Honestly, I like his decision making. It's just mechanics. And uh, that unfortunate level 3 thing. Um, okay, he's trading here. Um, okay, this trade here didn't make too much sense since... Uh, cause you didn't have your headshot ready or Nami W ready. So you're just going to damage. 
Yeah, this one didn't make as much sense. He tried an auto attack and he got hit by two Zerath spells. <clears throat> Insects insights. Gg. Is my am I not enunciating correctly? That was a great trade though. Another great trade here. Don't worry about Kanan. <clears throat> Okay, here he has no flash, so I used to be worried about Viego. Right? Viego went mid though. And that was a nice Q on him. He's chugging pods, he's gonna keep pushing. Good, 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 good. Keep pushing. Don't stop pushing. We don't stop pushing. Big mistake to stop pushing. Fight for push all day long. Nice trade, nice trade. Okay, okay. We are dying. Okay. Um. I remember. The way we trade is not through auto attacks, but rather specific trade pattern. So two trade patterns you can memorize for Caitlyn. You can practice. Let's say we can practice for Caitlyn are trade with headshot. You are already doing this. Good job. And and trade with net. This this part. Here is trade with net. Because we didn't net, we just eat Jin fourth shot and Zerath Q. They're essentially trading auto attacks versus their trade patterns. Which is which is of course going to be losing. Okay? You trade, you have a very specific trade pattern in mind. Um, otherwise, you're just going to eat infinite damage like that. You can't just auto-attack trade. It literally does not... That does not exist. Even when you have heal... Even when you have heal supports... Like, if you trade... Nami wave with one Kaelin auto... Versus... Jin Q4 shot. You're still going to lose out. Honestly. Because even though... You can heal up over time... He does so much more damage than you... That it's pretty much not worth. Like, he's nullifying your healing advantage, you know? <clears throat> Ooh... Yeah... So he just uh, lost his mind with that one thing, and he's now low HP, and his Shaco's playing top side. Yeah. Hey, can't trade versus Jin. I mean, that's not true at all. You just EW him, right? Easy clap. Q, right before he gets in range of four shot, he runs up to four shot, EW, easy clap. Works every time. Any, any kind of variation like that, where you net him while he's trying to four shot, it's lit. Or even eat the four shot. My favorite is eat the four shot. Like trap, eat the four shot, he's trapped net. Anything like that. That's crazy too. There's a lot of ways you can um I'll play his four shot. It's sometimes gotta be creative, you know. And then once you do that, then it's Jin's job to try and um Um what's it called? Dodge stuff. Dodge uh, do bait out your net and stuff like that. Oh, he tried to kill that guy. What the hell? Sometimes you just need a base. Yeah. Now he's dead. <laughs> Does EW on Kalen still work? Yes. Pushes is out. Good. Yeah, it definitely is looking like a mechanics gap. Uh, besides the level 3 idea. What is this illusion ulti? What the hell? It works out, I guess. Oh my god. Um, we, need to, we need to fight this, no? Hold up. Where, where are we going? Um, our Shaco is coming. And Vio is top. Easiest fight of your life. Diego is top, so auto win fight here. Uh, fight to all in. I mean, this is the freest fight of his life, but they're backing away. They're backing away from a 3v2. We need to kill people here. No, we need to kill them. Please. No! Okay. Another easy Kalen mechanic to remember. From bush play, the hardest thing to land is Q, so Q first. Actually, we'll say... In general, the hardest skill shot for to land is K, uh, to land is Q. So Q from bush first, and look for E. Uh, yeah. 
before trap in like a kill from bush has to happen. Yeah, he needs a cue from Bush. Uh, I can't believe. I can't believe they got away with that. Oh no. So, miss this missed upward opportunity where Nami had a great away uh, on them. Uh definitely a map awareness. Oh. Um one way to tackle this is Let's see. What was he doing before? Is after an objective dragon, uh, look at the map and find enemy jungle. Look at the map, yeah, I'm gonna... something like that, right? Is he coaching or reviewing this game? Oh, we're coaching someone. <clears throat> Can we say that you can easily use E to dash to Zerath and use auto Q? Uh, I mean, you just Q from Bush, I think is just fine. And this is one plate and call it a day. Wait, we get the plate? Ooh, we did not get the plate. Um Okay. Uh here's a uh nice trap tip for you. You can cut people coming back to your lane with think of traps as building terrain. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw it here. Look at this. So we're gonna draw traps in red, like this, and he can't get to the tower. Yeah. What? After you use the red, the comments. Uh, this is on. This is on Metify. I'm doing my VOD review coaching on Metify.gg. You can. Um, I think exclamation coaching. You have the Metify um link pop up. So he's playing for camp. Um, I think it's fine because his his teammates are coming out of base. So if he had based here, it's a good base. Uh, except for the fact that his teammates are <laughs> coming out of coming out of base already. So, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's watch this. Um. Okay. Let's talk about this. Uh, here the trap is good on Zerath, uh, but uh, we have to remember the the enemy will always respond with the strongest. Here it is, Zerath. Zerath. So um, <clears throat> if we. If we know he's going to E, then a good punish here is sideways net and then shot. Um, <clears throat> there's a few ways to make this happen in 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 game cons. Stanley. One, trap on CC is automatic. Then, two, um, when you look at their champions, predict what they're going to do next. Yeah, focus on dodging first. We need to dodge first. Remember, we watch that scripter, and as long as you don't get hit, you win. Dodge first, right? Let me write that down actually. We need to dodge first, guys. Remember. Dodge first. 
Dodge first, dodge first. Okay, let's keep going. They take a ton of damage from that, obviously. I mean, we can watch it. We can watch the whole thing, but he's gonna take his whole health bar here. Um, if this uh fight is too hard for you for now, you can just receive the wave. You can just get in the mind set of receiving the wave as safely as possible. <clears throat> okay, keep going. Now he's dead. Kind of can't lane. Basically, kind of getting rolled in lane. Um, but sometimes that happens, right? Okay. Um, I think Viego could be bought, so he's playing super safe. But we didn't put any words down here. Um. After pushing, remember you need to have pants. What is the plan after you push? Do you think we can walk up to their tower? Hit it. If not, good. Immediately, something here it would be warding. So, if you want to practice this habit, the way to practice this habit is every time you are pushing a wave. No, uh, figure out what your next next move. Figure out your move after. What are you guys, what are you guys learning? Are you guys learning lots. Nice train, good dodges, very nice. Don't like the extra auto attack because yeah, you just got hit by Zerath. But uh, it's fine, I guess. I don't think the lethal tempo is doing too much here. But uh, yeah, we already mentioned that. Oh, what the heck? Uh. When you walk up to them, you need a trade pattern. Um, here you have no way to headshot them or. Not. I think your tendency. Just try and auto attack them is getting trouble. Sure. Every time you I make your headshot is ready. Let me say that it's better than max W on early game and E for late. What does that even mean? I'm not sure what that means. Um, let me say we max W first. Yeah, we max W first. Yeah, this dragon, you can't help this dragon because uh, teammates are in base, right? Good, good, good. Romp. Okay. Not a huge fan of this, but I think it's okay. Go min because he wants to match. Oh, he's doing blue. What the fuck? Okay. Here, uh, after Gromp, we need, uh, covering. That's since you want to match their bot lane and. This is like a map idea. One way to, uh, implement the idea in the game is every time we look at the map, look at what your are doing. I think for some VOD reviews of my Kate, um, I'm massive GM peak 600 LP. Where do I get it? Anyone know? I don't know, bro. Uh, <clears throat> I have VOD review services you can use, but uh, you have a lot of LP. Not sure if... Uh, I'm sure you could uh, watch your VOD and see what you're doing wrong. Usually it's mechanical ideas. I mean, if you want me to take a look, I'm down to take a look. What is Zara doing? What the hell? <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure you have a good idea of what um, <clears throat> we need to work on. Okay, we uh, tower. I don't know what they're doing here, but uh, let's put a word down in peace, right, guys? Oh, he! Oh, that trap! 
What? Wait, the Illuminati trap. Wait, this. Look, it's in the middle of the triangle. Wait, it's in the middle of the triangle, guys. Illuminati. You see that? What server are you on, by the way? League of Bird. Very nice. Well, Yorick's dead, but whatever. This is a base trap. Uh, put a word down. Okay, let's talk about this. Uh, small tip here, but wording the middle of the enemy lane near their first tower. Their, their dead first tower. Very effective because it will tell you what their bot lane That trap was nuts. E West 600 OP? That's kind of poggers. 600 OP, uh, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure how inflated the E West server is, but uh, over here, 600 OP is like 200 OP from Challenger. I mean, this is illegal. You kill this guy. Fight this bitch. Badge. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay, okay. We can talk about mechanical ideas. Some notes. You want to charge up headshot, so you start with headshot, or at least have five stacks. Um, trap next to terrain. Terrain to limit his. Then hit him with the E W combo to limit it more. Last two on slow. Okay, <clears throat> sounds good, right? This Jin walking up to you is a. You can kill. W. W. Headshot. Uh, auto E W combo into U. Gale. Then Gale or Ulti. Anything like that. <clears throat> Anything like that sounds good. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this Jin is a criminal. He's got headshot. Gale Force headshot. Oh! Oh. Oh. He had Gale for a headshot play. Um. Yeah. Six hundred is cut off from Master GM on EUS. Jesus Christ! <clears throat> it seems hella inflated. Okay, fast forward. Fast forward. It's more for me a fresh pair of eyes for my KC is my main. So oh, that sounds good. I'd be glad to uh, take a look at your uh, replay. I very much enjoy uh, talking about League with uh, higher ranked people. No offense to people who are like silver and below, but when I VOD review those, I'm like, yeah, uh, you need to like move after your auto attack and stuff, you know? <laughs> you need to like press, press Q, press W when they're stunned. <laughs> At higher rank, you're like, alright, there's an angle where you can like E flash, Gale Force. <clears throat> with trap, making sure that uh, you know we're paying attention to like their top laner coming from TP behind you or something. You know, <clears throat> I don't know. It's a lot more interesting, probably because it's just infinitely closer to my skill rank. Yeah, okay, what the fuck is happening here, by the way? Um, I was not paying attention. So they're sieging mid. They summon the herald. His jungler dies, so they get the second tower for sure. Let's just not die here. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, let's talk about this. <clears throat> okay. Okay. This is probably... After seeing this... This is... After seeing this... This is probably going to be the first thing you want to work on. You need to make sure... Sure that we're not... Uh... <clears throat> So getting hit by Zerath is a problem here, right? Getting hit by Zerath stun is a problem, right? The only way to prevent this is to know he's going to cast stun before he does it. The trick to this is when you look at the enemy champions, Focus on what they're about. <clears throat> Fact. Done. Seraphine charge up in boots and Viego sun. Stuff like that. Okay? You need to stare at these guys and know exactly what they're going to do. Also, he, also, remember, he's like auto attacking them, right? Look at this. Yeah, he tried to like, uh, yeah. He tried to auto the Rift Herald. But it's fine. Okay. Wait, how many people here are Masters Plus? Can I get a 1 if you're Masters Plus? <clears throat> I'm just curious. One smile face. It's fucking lying. Keck. Uh, how the fuck is Yorick in their base after taking their inhib? What the fuck? Okay, take the tower. is really good. He's rich as fuck. Oh no, I would not recommend rapid fire. I hate rapid fire. What the? Okay, let's look at the team comp again. Is Seraphine, Jin, Zerath? Nar is not a rapid fire. Uh, okay. Personally, I think rapid RFC is terrible. Uh, second item. But up to you. I'd prefer my collector or armory or any. Item that gives a plus vector. Was the item is usually good after Gale Force? Uh, on Kaelin, none of them. Uh, Rapid Fire is gonna be the last thing you buy, probably. But, uh, it's all dog shit. <laughs> LDR? Uh, LDR, dog shit, second item. But, um, what can you do sometimes? I would not buy LDR here. I would pretty much never buy LDR second. Because you do zero fucking damage. And logically, from a logical point of view, you need to kill the you need to pressure the front line. Why don't we buy LDR? Uh, and then in practice, you buy LDR and you don't kill the front line. You don't do any damage to the front line either. It's like what the fuck? And then not only do you not do damage to the front line, you can't do any damage to the back line. Right? So yeah. Um Anything that gives you play, that gives you play making with Gale Forest headshot to items, what you're looking for. Let's join Discord. Let's Okay, let's keep going. Uh, but one wave is fine. Um, he's probably he's gonna get away with this, honestly. I'm down to go for another wave, but he has to go mid after this. So, uh, base after this, this is fine too. I would farm his own jungle, but um, 
I don't know. He bought pickaxe and ran mid. That's okay, I guess. No one wants to have a vote. What the hell? Okay. Oh, uh, this is a little bit strange here. Let's talk about this. So... Okay, I'm not against spicy 4v5 plays. Spicy fast plays. But... You need to make sure you have the damage to one shot. Um... <clears throat> Remember, your damage here is going to come from headshots. So, you, <clears throat> so uh, you can go for a headshot here, but I highly doubt it. So, as you can see, he's going for the headshot, right? There's no actual lethal here. Um. Also, you can see. Some of the limit. See, headshot is not. Uh, headshot crit is not that strong on backline targets. Uh, until I did three to. <clears throat> I think damage to Jin here is fine. But remember, it's not always about killing and chasing. Eh, I don't. I don't want to say chasing a kill. That's so it's so overdone. Your intent it shouldn't always be kill kill this guy. It can also do a lot of damage just to fake. Yeah. Something like that. Basically, I mean, he just flashed. I mean, he just flashed and died. I mean. <laughs> also, when you flash in here, you have no damn, no headshot. <clears throat> Play. No passive. This might work if you use the forward and or something like that, but your play should never just regular auto attack. Guy in. Oh, one hit. One hit. When you flash in, you have to snap your fingers and they die, or you're trolling. Like that. Looks like Jin got away with one HP, but uh, you were never killing that Jin, right? You're killing that guy zero out of a hundred times, right? Um, two bar guys, Baron. Why is that surfing so tanky? Holy shit, Baron guys. Oh, they can't Baron. They have AP Shago or something. Okay, clearing mid for IE. Farm, farm, farm. Honestly, you can get hit. Doesn't really matter. Okay, maybe don't miss cannon, but. Here, don't really want to just run with the like RFC headshot. You should instead be uh, play around the dragon HP. He had already kills that Jin a hundred out of a hundred times. I mean, I think you forgot the part where he and Nami are just running at them like with two people missing on the map. Three people missing on the map, so he has to kill Jin instantly. So no, he doesn't kill Jin 100 out of 100 times because he literally just died to Viego, no? <clears throat> yeah, running up here, there's nothing to do up here. He has no headshot, so he need to just go dragon. If he had a headshot, I'm down to look with RFC, but... um, Yeah, also, you should not path up. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do their jungle. Good. Good. Good clearing, good clearing. Oh, I do want to make a note, actually. I do want to make a note, actually. I do want to make a note here, actually. <clears throat> um, personally, I like to buy a uh, Gale Force 180 item and IE. This will give us uh, the ability to kill the ranged creeps in 
one Q. And that lets you stack headshot on the wave, then clear everything with one Q. That way you can run around with headshot the entire game. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Sally's... What the fuck? Sally, you're you're hosting me? What? What time is it? Sally, it's only 5 a.m. Isn't this when you start? Isn't this when you start a stream? Thank you for the raid. Oh my goodness. I'm getting raided today. Alright. Type 1 if you're a Saber viewer. Type 2 if you're a Tackle viewer. And Type 3 if you're a Sally viewer. Isn't this when you're sleeping usually? Yeah, it is. Uh, but our sleep schedule got fucked up from Vegas. So many ones. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> How's Sally's games going? Wait, guys. What account is Sally playing on? Chat, someone sent me the link. Uh, okay, this is for sure. He tried to auto-attack this guy. And it's everything ulted him in the face, okay? So, so here, let it, here is a great example of the uh, habit we talked about earlier. Every time you want to auto, someone make sure you know what they're going to do next and dodge first okay this habit is most important to work no can't get you can't be getting hit by uh seraphine alt and all you're trying to right click okay <clears throat> What is the account, guys? What is the account? Big feed, big me sixty nine. What the hell, Sally? Do you want to talk about this? Big feed, big meat sixty nine. Oh, perfectly balanced. Is that a Thanos gif. Um, Sally, why are you platform on this account? Huh, Sally. Uh, it must be the name, honestly. Teammates see big feet, big meat, and they're just like, all right, that's 15. <laughs> Wait, you're playing Vex still. That's interesting. I thought Vex was, like, terrible now. <clears throat> yeah, he, this guy got hit by Seraphine ulti. It's very sad. <clears throat> uh, he's dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So the reason why he has problems with um, these poke champions is because you need to dodge first, okay? You need to dodge first. When you want to hit them, you need to dodge first, no matter what. Vex is actually S tier in mid right now. Wait, it is? Vex is? Do you coach players on silver elo or only GM? I mean, let's just say above silver. I think if you're silver, there are a lot of free resources online that are very helpful. Uh... Yeah, that's all I have to say. Actually, if you're below Diamond, there are a lot of... Actually, if you're below Master's GM, there are a lot of free resources online. There are many, many, many free resources online. Yeah, not, not just my own. Although, I like to think my um, videos are... in help Master's and above. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Gale Force Rebel Fire does zero damage to Viego, by the way. Look at this. Depression. Good kiting, I guess. Uh, very nice. Uh, is it EW, right? Nice trap. Great trap. I just need good opinion from a pro player. I'm not a pro player, so... <clears throat> <laughs> it's funny, I, with my headphones off, I can hear Emily. He's uh, molding about something. Nice. Right click the fuck out of this guy. Nice. Ooh. That is awkward. Got hit by Seraphine ulti again. It's fine. Every ulti was pretty far off. That's forward. Okay. Kill this guy. Nice. You got always uh, auto attacks. I could have just. I probably just queued. 
It's fine. I think it's all fine. All that the whole section was fine. No changes needed, right? He has Infinity Edge now. How will he play with Infinity Edge? Lord Dom next. No, uh, I think Lord Dom next is the only only play here. Unless you really want Bloodthirster, uh, you could probably get away with Bloodthirster here. On the wave, Lucian is dead. What the fuck? Nar is taking the Nexus. He did not know Nar. He did not. He was just trying to right click this guy. Same habit here. Every time you want to auto, you need to be able to predict what they will do next. Nar will for sure. Nar has rage, max rage bar. Has max rage bar. Will for sure jump on. So make a plan based off that. Uh, example plan. Trap yourself. Gale force sideways into. E, W, combo, Q on CC. Easy. That guy's in Cali or Texas right now. We're in Texas. We're in Texas. <clears throat> uh, need to kill the gen. Go for us. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Good shit. Very nice. Very nice. That was really good. Headshot into net headshot. Um, <clears throat> where is it? Ten out of ten kill. Where I say this, all the way at the bottom. Notice how it was headshot to net headshot. Gale force. Kalen damage rare never. Kalen playmaking. Never comes from just regular auto. Uh, so he lost the back door or what? Oh no, they won. They won. They won. They won, guys. They won. Oh my god, they won. Okay, it's fine. <clears throat> okay. It's time to do the uh, complete review, okay? So let's send a replay summary. Um, Chad, what'd you guys learn in this? Uh, what'd you guys learn in this coaching? audio hit record <clears throat> all right so i think you did a few things really well actually i think you had really great trades in lane it's so good anytime you had headshot and nami w you actually smurfed on their face 10 out of 10 honestly and i think um there was you had you were really uh safe with nets in terms of they're like running at you it's very clear you need a net out all that is pretty good too and oh my god some of these traps are crazy that like one trap in the middle of the shako Illuminati uh, clone boxes. That was really good too. So I think you have really good instincts when it comes to um, playing Kaelin. So. <clears throat> okay. Um, the thing you should spend most of your time practicing before next session is going to be you want to hit someone or you want to fight someone. You need to know what they're going to do next. No exceptions, okay? If anything surprises you, it's something you need to work on. So let's say, for example... You want to auto attack Seraphine, you need to know she's going to ult you, so prepare to sidestep immediately, right? It can never be like, I'm going to hit her, oh shit, she ulties, that's what we're trying to prevent, okay? So the main habit is, you want to fight someone, you need to know exactly what they're going to do next, mechanically. You need to know mechanically what they're going to do next, okay? There are some um, map awareness ideas we can talk about, like uh, we missed an opportunity to kill their bot lane when their jungle shell top and Shaco was running at uh, their bot lane. But uh, I would put that on like a, as like a secondary thing to work on. Um, this is the main one to work on, okay? Okay, so I think once you can make sure you know exactly what your opponents are going to do, um, uh, or, or uh, we can flip this order, but the next thing I would have you work on is the Kalen mechanic stuff, okay? There are a lot of, uh, I would say, missed opportunities that uh, with some more polished Kayla mechanics you can you can get some good stuff out of okay so stuff like um we need to charge up headshot before the fights so that we have headshot before the fights or uh <clears throat> when you want to fight you need you actually need to have a plan uh with your headshot or your net play right uh if you don't have either we're just walking up to kind of eat a million damage like you saw in your replay that happened a lot um some more advanced ideas is like we could trap terrain to limit their movement into an ew combo to limit it even more and once they're slowed and you know exactly where they're going, then we can fire a Q, right? So um, combos like that uh, seem kind of daunting at first, but it's really just patterns. Trap first always, 
then look for EW always. Really easy. Okay. Okay. Here are some habits you, I think would be good for you to focus on. Um, <clears throat> make sure you are only working on one or two of these a game for at least a week straight. <clears throat> these every game for at least a week straight. Um, don't worry about anything else. Remember, the goal is to turn these habits into. Oh, Will is also rating me. What the heck? Uh, permanent into your permanent gameplay. Type one if Will's poggers chat. Everyone type one or you're getting banned. <clears throat> yeah, we're at the uh you came in at the end of our um bot review coaching right now. So <clears throat> Okay, so what do we say? Oh yeah. Every time you want to fight someone, uh every time you want to auto someone, let's say that. Make sure you know what they're going to do first and dodge first. Always. Always dodge first. Always dodge first. Um <clears throat> every time you uh are pushing away, look at your map. <clears throat> What's a glance? That's a good word. Can even add on top of that every every time am i fucking typing this wrong i'm not okay every time you're uh lucky every time you look map look uh see what your jungle doing and find enemy jungle um <clears throat> what else do you ever go w second on kaylin uh mostly e w second is more like kaylin morgana kaylin lux uh, Kaelin Thresh, we're gonna we're gonna look for a catch on uh, level two, right? Taking combo with trap. Basically, you need a combo with trap if you want to take W second. E second is really good now. <clears throat> and then um, what else? What else? Uh, what else did I mention in this uh, VOD review? Mm, it's really just if he wants to hit them, he needs to dodge first, no matter what. Uh, we did talk about some optimization stuff. Oh yeah, every time you want to make a play. Remember to, uh, uh, what's it called? Make use of damage patterns. All, it's never just auto attacks. Not all of that. Think headshot net, etc. <clears throat> Um, anything else? What do you guys think? That's it for now. Those are the main ones I noticed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember in these mega push lanes, you want to, to push that cannon wave and the next three melee minions. That first cannon wave and the next for level three first. Getting level three first. Oh, I can't even say anything. But basically, getting level three first will protect you from a, a gank. <clears throat> Sub Hunzard. Okay. Anything else? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. That's it for now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, let's get back to games, yeah?